Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jake Smash. This is going to be a Watcher of Realms video. It is 0934, Friday, March the 8th. If you've already pulled, I hope they went excellent. Let me know in the comments, but that's not what we're here for. We're here for first impressions of the new uh, Boreas Immortal Codex, whatever it's actually called. The Arbiter of Frost. Oh, I have to do challenges. That's boring. Okay, I'm going to do these really quick. I'm going to speed up through the video so you don't have to watch them. And then once I get to the actual Berea stage, then I'll, I'll come back to normal speed and we'll talk about it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We got through those stages. Since we're uh, since we got a few diamonds, I burnt everything trying to get Artemis. Um, first one took me all the way to Pity. Uh, I got a legendary. I won't tell you who. You can check out the video. Actually, I haven't even posted it yet. I don't know if I'm going to, but it wasn't Artemis. I wanted Artemis, and it wasn't him. So. I used all of my diamonds trying to get a second legendary. I'm at like 180 something into pity a second time. So almost 400 summons in with one legendary. No Artemis. Ugh, man, painful. So we are at the boss. I haven't watched any videos on him. All I know is I've heard, you know, uh, you know, through the grapevine that you need damage over time effects. Now, Exactly what that looks like, I don't know. So let's see what it says. This is first impressions, um, just kind of walking through the process of, you know, doing something new. So if you enjoy that kind of thing, let's do it. When a hero applies a buff by casting skills, they will be frozen permanently. Oh, good lord. Frozen permanently? All heroes' revival time is increased by 60 seconds. Okay. After dealing continuous damage to the Arbiter of Frost or the Cryo Core, the hero restores their HP. The Arbiter of Frost possesses high physical and magic damage reduction. Boss Rush Enhancement. Heroes gain attack speed increase and restore increased HP by dealing continuous damage. Okay, so when a hero applies a buff by casting skills, so that means like, uh, like our Dolores, right, that we use for everything. So we'll need to do have damage over time effects without doing any buffs. Let's see the rankings. What are folks using? Praetis, yay. So Radiant Erosion, um, Nisalt, Anai, Cuke. That's crazy. Cuke is in like all the top teams as a rare poisoner. All right, so... We've got a lust. We've got an A5 lust with Ron. So okay. Twin Fiend and Zilla two look to be pretty good. Twin Fiend and Zilla two, and then uh, Knee Salt is at the top. That's interesting. All right. Well, let's do that. Let's uh, get rid of the the easy ones that we were using for the challenges. Let's throw in. Um, uh, I mean, Anai and Knee Salt were really good. Let's do, uh, hmm. Who do we got? Who do we got? For a first test. Hex. I mean, let's do Anai. Actually, do I have her built? I don't. But she's only putting out damage from her burns, right? Which, I don't know. Let's try it. Let's try it. That's why we're testing stuff, right? All right. Let's see what we can do. So, let's get our burn folks on the board. I don't know if I should be using ults yet or waiting for... Oh, 
it looks like he's going to go into the rush phase here really soon. All right, now let's use ults. This looks exceptionally simple. I'm curious, we got a second ult while Zillatu's ult was still active. But I wonder if that matters. If we can only get damage from damage over time, then the attack boost there probably doesn't matter in which case you should just be ulting as, as often as possible to try to get more. I don't know. We're getting a lot of burns out. But if the only thing that's doing damage from Twin Fiend is burns, yeah, let's... I mean, we still want our ults. We just probably want to be doing more of them. Hmm. I don't know. Cryo core. Okay. Two and a half minutes left. Ulting. Got Elo in for extra rage. Heals. Okay. That didn't quite... Okay, there we go. Alright, so I'll need to time my heals for that... Whatever that attack was. Because there was another... That was only B. Okay. Alright, so that was a B. What did folks do? Everyone did something... Okay, let's try and time it a little bit differently this time. Let's use the same team. Let's see what kind of timings we can figure out. Can I get info on him to get a little bit more specifics? Monster manual. Okay, here we go. Once the Arbiter of Frost enters the boss rush phase, Frost temperature will deal damage. Arbiter of Frost receives increased continuous damage. The Mass of Cryo Core, which must be destroyed. If it's destroyed, then he takes extra damage. If he's not, it does a bunch of damage to me. Hmm. Not much there. Okay, so... Poisons might be the way to go. I see why Cuke was there. Let's get folks on the board. Let's just ult early this time. Because he's taking damage. It, he seems to be taking normal damage. It's just every time he does that cryo core thing. Why do you never answer your messages? I didn't see a message. Sounds like I'm in trouble though. I should check that. I wonder if it's important. Let's finish this fight. If it's important, she'll call. Let's ult with everyone. So he seems to be taking damage from all sources. The damage over time just seems to increase the amount of damage that he takes. And every time he does that cryo core, he takes less damage. Let's see what this buff says. 
Each stack reduces damage taken by 80% except for continuous damage. Yeah. So you start out being able to do some damage, but as the fight goes on, you just get to do less and less and less. Oh, this is about where I mistimed my ult last time. Let's see. Here we go. Mm. Through that one. We're still only at B, though. Let's hold off on the ult. This must have been the one that I lost at last time. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Okay. B plus this time. So a little bit better. Certainly not a great run. Um, but we are going to hit the pause button on this so that I can check to see what my wife wants, all right? We'll see if I come back. Thanks for your time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back in the Immortal Codex. Uh, Arbiter of Frost. All right, so B+, plus, surprising to me, that's top 6%. Um, I wasn't expecting that, but let's do better. So I haven't tried it again since you know, I cut out before, but I did take, um, uh, took arrogance and lust out. You know, they're putting, they have some uptime, but they're conditional. They're only putting burning out during their ult. So I threw Nisalt and Cuke on the team. They were in the top teams on the leaderboard. So I'll throw them in. I, uh, didn't like min max gear. I literally just hit quick equip. So let's see what it does. All right, let's get folks on the board. Everyone's going down. I'm just gonna ult with everyone as we can. Holy Nisalt. I should have held off on his until the boss entered that rush phase. There we go. Yeah, tons of damage over time effects are active right now. Curious. That ult didn't do anything. So it looks like even... You still need to be doing more damage over time during that... Uh, that effect right there. So I don't want to use Twin Fiend's ult during that because he stops Anai and Zilla too. There we go. We're in B now. But I barely made it through that last one. Yeah, this one. So let's see if we can heal. Well, if I can heal through those attacks. Yeah, I healed everyone other than Cuke with Elowen. Q 
puke, I would just need to do some better gear there. Okay. I'm still B plus. I think it's just a, yeah. Okay. So I got to figure out the timing for that, that cryosphere to how to, how to do more additional damage on that. I don't think I like Twin Fiend in there, though. I might actually have to gear people. Still top 6%, B+. Plus. So, I mean, they've got legitimate gear. Yeah. So that number two team right here, this is the, the same exact team that I just used. And they got three times as much damage. 106, 358, 334, 114. So let's see what... What did mine quick equip to? I'm curious how much of a difference that gear makes. So we're at 10-8, a little less attack, faster attack speed, less crit damage. We've got some 12s here. Hmm. Let's try it again without... I mean, even Zilla too, right? She's only putting out her burns when she's ulting, right? So we, we don't want to use another uh, poison champ because uh, you can't apply multiple poisons on the same enemy at one time. So uh, just one, right? Whether you're using Cuke, Liam, or Cutter, they'll all do the same job. We could put a bleed champ, but same thing, bleed doesn't stack. So you want, you want burns. Let's see here. We can do Radiant Erosion. We can test that. I don't think he's geared at all. There we go. Let's do some quick equip. See what it throws on him. Something. Whatever. We're just testing. We're testing, testing, testing. So, it seems really... S Overall simple, right? Oh. I was going to take Zilla 2 out, but that's all right. Let's get everyone down. That Radiant Erosion only lasts for 15 seconds. Who's doing... The, the attack debuff? Who's doing that? I don't even know who's putting that out. We're going to have to test it. I'm going to have to read people's kits more. All right, so I think at this point, we just need to actually gear folks, put better gear on them. Because as long as they're putting out, as long as they have fast attack speed, and they're regening so they can do their ults, right? They're putting out their damage over time effects.
Cube died again. All right, so we need to time ult for those cryo core moments. Okay. Let's do that. We'll do one more run. We'll see about timing those. Let's see here. Let's put you back out. Curious. Who else is on here, right? So we've got Lugaru, Salazar. We've got a couple bleeds up there. Hex. Pratus, Sulkadins. Okay. War Guides. Nice job, dude. A Torador. Hmm. Could try that Torador one. It'd be fun. Why not? We're just here testing stuff, right? So we got Torador. Let's do Nightmare. And then... I'm not convinced... Hmm... Let's take Cuke out. Let's see how it works. It looks like that that defense reduction from Torador is working. It is taking effect. I don't have all of these champs, you know, built crazy already. I'm curious how this one turns out. Just so I'm gonna save. No, I'm not. Should I be saving ults for the cryo core? Man. It takes a lot of a lot of damage to get those down. I think for the next one I'm going to save. I don't think I'll have time to regen another one. Yeah. Oh, barely got that with arrogance. I'm using all my ults now, so I won't be able to for the next one. I'm testing to see if I can heal through it. Arrogance going to town, doing his thing. Let's see about healing through this. Man, I feel like those attacks are doing a lot more damage after not destroying that cryo core. Bam, yeah. He gets a big damage boost from that. We got up to A that time. 
Okay. We did get up to A that time. So a little bit better, uh, not crazy, but first impressions, right? We're not going to do this for hours at a time. It was just kind of understanding what's going on. Uh, you want lots of damage over time going nonstop. So uh, the cool thing about that is that there's some really accessible champs um, like Nisalt, like Cuke, like Liam, like Cutter that everyone can use if, uh, you know, without having all of the, the crazy, you know, Torridors and Lusts and Arrogance and all that. So that's awesome. Looks like we got top 3%. Let's screenshot that. Why not? And uh, yeah. All right. Well, that's been the video. It's been a couple of videos kind of smashed together. But thank you so much for your time. If you appreciated this, please support the channel. Like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. Uh, I'll, I might fiddle with this a little bit more. If you want me to fiddle with it a little bit more, understanding the timing a little bit and kind of figuring out um, the cryo cores a little bit, you know, understanding the mechanics just a little bit better instead of just surface layer. If you're interested, if you'd like that, let me know in the comments and uh, I'll take care of you. So thank you so much for your time. I will see you in the next one.